guys welcome back to the channel back with another video on the amazing fire blade man let me tell you this bike is actually crazy fast like i've been riding my m1000 mlr that bike got the stage 3 tune uh, from Brent tuning, it also got um, a full exhaust system pretty much, full titanium exhaust system from SC Projects, and all the goodies, and man, I got on this bike and I'm like, whoa, this is a fast bike, and all this bike has is just like a regular stage 2 tune, which, well, technically, like, not regular, but because it still has velocity stacks, but like, the M1000 got way more work done to it, and that's already a more expensive higher up bike because this is more equivalent to the S1000 R M package because you know this is similar uh it's a little bit more expensive but you know the M1000 is like kind of like top you know it's about 10 grand more than this bike so and this bike feels really fast especially even though comparing it to the, my M1000 R. But yeah, for today's video, last minute decided to go on a ride, beautiful sunset ride. We're going to put on some parts on the fire blade. We're going to put on lever guards because you guys already know I love lever guards. What's going on? Accident over here. Is that why there's traffic? Looks like it. Yeah, car getting towed and all. A lot of cops. Ooh, yeah, bad, nasty. But yeah, there's always traffic when there's an accident because people just slow down to watch but yeah look at that beautiful sunset in this video we are oh i didn't continue we are uh, going to put on the lever guard for this bike and chain adjusters just that little attachments uh, or little kind of like details here and there that will make the bike a little bit you know cooler i don't know why i was cruising in fourth gear but yeah, beautiful day, a little chilly, it's getting a little chilly, it's kind of weird because we ha we got another heat wave and it was like really really hot, but then around sunset it drops down real quick and it gets really chilly. It's definitely hoodie weather, not t-shirt weather anymore. I mean, we are in the end of September, so that makes sense too. But yeah, I am currently, I can't talk, I am currently recording with the Insta360 X3. This is actually the 360 camera that you guys see right now. I'll put a little display of the setup. Super easy setup. All you need is a little uh, attachment in the bottom uh, with a chin mount, your mic adapter that you get, uh, that you can buy also from Insta360. And I am currently moto vlogging with their 360 camera simply by using the single lens mode. It's a new mode that has been added to the new 360 camera, the X3, over the X2. And that's not the only thing that they improved. That's the nice thing about the Insta360, that they listen to the people and they keep improving their products. The audio quality is also improved in this uh, camera. So let me know in the comments, how do you, what do you guys think about the audio? Is it good? Now keep in mind, we are on the freeway, it's pretty windy, and we're not going slow, you know? So. Obviously, it's not going to be blister clear, but in comparison to the old generation and the RSs and in general, like for freeway speed, let me know what you guys think about the audio quality and the video quality of this camera. But yeah, it's super, super easy to use. As I showed you guys, super simple setup. The mic adapter is super simple. And the nice thing about it is that, yes, now you can use it as a motovlog camera because it has a single lens mode which is actually wider look at the birds birds are paid actors <laughs> uh, but it's actually the widest pov ever so like that's crazy you guys get to see more of a wider angle which in my opinion is very important for motovlogging the more you can see the better without actually distorting the image which is exactly what the 360 did uh, at the same time you can still use this camera 
to record your 360 footage simply by switching to the 360 mode instead of the single lens mode. And the nice thing about the single lens mode, because you have two cameras in this camera, since it's a 360 camera, you can actually choose which direction you want to film in. So you're, you're not stuck in one direction, you can film in any direction pretty much. And sorry, I'm getting a little distracted by the sunset and the moon and all that stuff. And the airplane over there is a little one, but still, there is one. camera is also super light so like I literally don't feel it at all especially thanks to their really small mic adapter that really matters because the other mic adapters that I usually use with the other cameras are really big and bulky this one is super sleek and it attaches to the side of the camera so it doesn't add any extra weight on top of the camera and the camera is already super light so it just feels amazing also simply if you want just tap on the screen and you get the full screen which also shows you I hope you guys can see this in uh, the mirror over there but you can actually see your audio as well there's like a little audio line which I find very useful because there's a lot of times where you're not sure if hold on oh my god bro this bike want to pull me off like it just wants to throw me off it's so fast and I was like quarter throttle now, let me show you better here so yeah, as you can see, there is like the mic pretty much audio line up top, which shows you that, yes, the mic is working and we are recording the audio properly. So that's another amazing feature that like I just found out while I was using the camera. Hey, biker dude. Haha. <laughs> I feel so good. But yeah, sorry, I've been talking all about the camera and not even about the bike as much because I'm very, really surprised by what this camera can do and all its capabilities. I already tried the 360 footage when I revealed this camera and it was amazing and now you can do this with it too. So make sure to check the description down below and click the link to get yourself the new Insta360 X3. You can use it, as I said, for motor vlogging. You can use it now for 360 footage or whatever you want with their new improved audio and their single lens mod mode. <laughs> I'm a little all over. Kind of like one of those days where I just want to enjoy the ride, but I've got to film, right? I'm going to talk to you guys and pay some more money to put some more parts on these bikes. Bro, it's so expensive owning multiple bikes. I know, I know I shouldn't be complaining about this, but like, seriously, it, like I, every single day, I'm like, okay, this bike needs this, this bike needs that, this bike needs this. It's like just never ending. What's up, guys? How are you doing? How are you doing? But yeah, let me show you some of the parts that we got for this bike that we're going to be putting on. More update on, this. on what? Like this, uh, the dashboard, like the MV? software, yeah. I've never seen this MV before, what the hell? <laughs> Interesting, I didn't even know they make them. It's only got 110 horsepower, but it's the same triple motor. I see. It fits in there, it's still pretty light. It almost feels like a big supermoto because it's so light. Yeah, it doesn't look as bulky as like that, for example. Chain adjusters, little blue details. And we got, this is for the, the little attachment things for the lever guards. And this is the actual lever guard. You have left and right? Yes, sir. Both sides. And two separate little attachments. Nice. A lot of stuff. You got it? <laughs> But yeah, Fireblade getting more and more upgrades. I don't even know what to do to it next. I want to do some carbon, but as I said, like not many companies make carbon fiber for this bike. Like I have like small little pieces here and there. Like for example, I can do the front mud guard. Uh, I can do like this piece, which 
will be nice to break the color you know but i kind of like this sticker right here because when you're riding and you're looking down if all my bikes are carbon fiber here they're all going to feel somewhat the same and look somewhat the same you know what i mean so this kind of is a little different i really like all the vents they pop more in the red with the honda badging and all that and yes if i do get this in carbon i have to replace this and the honda badging and all that stuff Uh, I do want the rear cowl too to be in carbon, but I don't think anybody makes that. So, yeah, it's really hard finding carbon parts for this bike, but we'll figure it out. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a rear sets next, but I really don't know. Definitely need headers, and I, I think that's it. This bike comes pretty complete. I already put a lot of parts on it real quick, to be honest. Uh, but yeah. Also, more updates. The H2 clutch is here, so it should be good to go very soon. I know you guys want to see the H2. It's a fan favorite. It's also my favorite, too. Now, I'm, I'm starting to have a few favorites, honestly. The H2 is obviously my all-time favorite. The V4R is my favorite to ride. Airplane. I'm filming over here. Come on. This is a good test for the mic. <laughs> but, yeah, the M1000 feels amazing with the way it sounds and everything, and this bike just feels altogether amazing and the Aprilia has the also super crazy like tone and the R1M you know, I like them all <laughs> but yeah hopefully it'll be fixed soon but for now we're gonna get the parts on the bike and then uh, yeah I'll update you guys I'll probably film a little video with my phone and uh, or maybe with this camera and show you guys on the way back at the little ride uh, but yeah we're gonna put on the parts appreciate you guys so much for watching uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, please drop a like and subscribe. And as I said, thank you again for Insta360 for sponsoring this video. And make sure to check out their cameras. Because game changers. Innovation. <laughs> That's what they're all about. And they keep upping the bar somehow. I mean, look at this screen, man. It's like a little iPad. But it's a camera. But also, like, look at that. I, I hope you guys can see, like, when I'm talking. See, I quiet. And you see the mic bar. That's amazing. That's actually so beneficial for like moto vlogging. And honestly, I might consider switching completely full time to moto vlogging with this. And again, this camera, I've never had issues with it shutting off, overheating, or any of that stuff. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I'll update you guys when we get the bike back. Bye.